Good morning and happy new month to each and every one of you. I'm in Ghana once again. And whenever I come to Ghana, you know how we do it. Like I said, it's time to celebrate African excellence. Like I said, people are indeed making Africa home again. I just went to Kenya, had an amazing time, and I'm back again in Ghana for just a week. And I know that my one week in Ghana, it's gonna be good. I received a call from a doctor who told me that, hey Maya, I moved from United States back to Ghana to establish Ghana's first mobile doctor service, of which I think it's incredible. And I told him that, dog, can you do this for me? I want to go to work with you today. But whenever I'm in Ghana, Woodbury Lozuras apartment, go with me. They go with this apartment just for 10 days and I'll be out of here. Thank you so much. But if you're coming to Ghana, make sure you book an apartment with them. The link is going to be in the description box. Book apartment with them, stay with them, and enjoy your stay in Accra, Ghana. I am Maya. Come with me. Let's go meet this amazing doctor. He's down there waiting for me. Today, your favorite gynecologist is going to be in his lab coat. Hiya, Maya. Hi, hi, what am I? How are you doing? I'm good. Good uh, to see you. Nice to see you, my man. Nice to see you, man. Mobile Doctors GH. Uh, oh, yes. You know, it's my first time hearing something about Mobile Doctors. Uh huh. Yes, yes. So, you Are you the owner of Mobile Doctors? I am the CEO and the president of Mobile Doctors in Ghana. Yes, Amazing. I am. Amazing. So, you're going to work with me today, eh? Of course, yes. I'm so <laughs> pleased to work with you today, man. Thank you. Nice <laughs> meeting you. Nice yeah? meeting you, man. Now, I'm going to give you a quote for the day, okay? For the day? Okay, you're going to pull it out. Work with you today. And make sure your mask is on, okay? Sorry, Corona man. Virus, yeah, Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I should join you. Yes, please. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Dog. Yes. Uh, this marks, I don't know. I know it's sometimes difficult to breathe. And, it, right? and thank you so much for bringing me my lab coat. Sure. You know I'm a gynecologist. Are you a gynecologist? Yeah. You know how much how, how much it takes to be a gynecologist? Yeah, I'm actually a Ghanaian doctor. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, you know, like I know you. Yes. And you've established something that does not exist in this beautiful country we call Ghana. Yes. Mobile doctors GH. Yes. That's incredible. Do you know that you've done something incredible? Well, I always want to do something different. Amazing. And this is exactly what I've done in Ghana. I know most of our, most of the people watching right now don't know who you are. I know your name, but you have to introduce <laughs> yourself to them. All right, okay. My name is Dr. John Akwe Awa, mm. and I'm a Ghanaian trained physician. And um, I did my postgraduate training in the United Kingdom. Okay. And then I did federal studies in United States, okay. and I practiced medicine in the United States for 20 years. For 20 yeah. years? Yes. Doc, let's come back to Ghana. Were you, <laughs> were you born and raised in Ghana? I was born and raised in Ghana. You attended school in Ghana? I did all my you know, initial education in Ghana up to university level. Okay. And then I graduated from University of Ghana. Did you start working in Ghana? I worked for about two years in Ghana as a house officer Okay. in Ghana. And then I decided to um, move on and do something uh, no, to prove my class. I, I just want to know, in the first place, why would you leave Ghana? <laughs> why well, you know, um, mm -hmm. when you are a young doctor, you want to do more, right? Okay. First of all, you want to have a good edu education. Okay. Because it's not enough to just stop at the first degree, right? So yeah. you want to do more. Mm. So in first ones of trying to do more and, and, and improve myself, yeah. I decided to move abroad and go to school and go do further studies. Okay. And that took me down to United Kingdom. How long did you live in the United Kingdom? I was there for seven years. Seven good years. Seven years. The first four years I did my postgraduate training. Mm. And then after that I worked for uh, three more years. And so. from the UK, you went to the United States? From the UK, I decided UK is not for me. Oh. Yes, because I want to do more. I don't want to be employed by an institution. I want to be on my own. Mm. So in America offers that um, ability to actually 
practice your own medicine and you do your own thing, right? Mm. So I decided to go to the United States and do my postgraduate training again. So I did a second postgraduate training. In the United States? In the United States, yes. And after that? After that, I decided to go into private practice. Okay. So I was initially employed by um, a company making house calls. And then I learned all the skills, you know, from that company. And they asked me, yes, do you want to continue working with us or you want to do your own thing? I said, man, I want to be my own. So they were happy to let me go and start my own practice from scratch. And I did um, a combination of, you know, house call practice mm. and, you know, clinics and hospital and stuff. And then gradually I realized that it's better to actually practice as a house call physician. Okay. So I sold my buildings and my, you know, stationary medical practice and then went to full time, full time house call physician practice. House call practice means that somebody will call you to their house to go take care of them or what? Yeah, it means that um, you don't, the, you go to the homes to, to see patients when mm. they are ill. And actually, it's, it improves uh, the outcome because most a lot of patients don't want to come to the hospital, hospital to see you right and some of them are bed reading some of them have you know they kind of walk mm. and some of them just are reluctant to actually move their body into the medical office so how long did you operate this home call in the united states for 20 years Good years. 20 good years, yes, 20 years. And after 20 years? So, you know, during that time, I wasn't there throughout the 20 years. I was coming to Ghana very, very often. Okay. Almost every, initially, every six months, and began every month I was oh. coming to Ghana. And I realized in Ghana that there is a big gap in the healthcare delivery system. Lots of deficiencies. And, um, Imagine yourself that yeah. you are in London, exactly. okay, and your mother is sick, and you said, okay, can we take her to the hospital, and there's no ambulance, and then you get a taxi and put your mom in the taxi and take her to the biggest hospital in the country, and then the, your mother gets admitted to the hospital, and you want to call the doctor and ask questions as to what's going on mm. and the doctor will not call you back they are reluctant to communicate the patient's information to a relative mm. and I've had that first experience that I guess we're frustrated yeah. so I want to come back to Ghana and do something different and bring the experience that I've had in the, in the United, <laughs> United States of all my travels into Ghana Wow. So after coming back and forth, coming back and forth for many, many years, mm. I decided, oh my God, year of return. <laughs> <laughs> year of return. Year of return. <laughs> let me it's take time, advantage and, and take the big step and move down to Ghana. It's time. So that's what I did. Whoa. And how long have you been doing this, though? You know, I've been Ghana for a year. Okay. But um, I started this practice six months ago. Six months ago, and oh boy, you know, it's been um, helpful for so many patients. And they can't believe how convenient it is yes. for a doctor to come to your house. And not only that, you know, you explain to them into detail what their medical condition is and to their family. And we have a few patients who family are, you know, in London. Mm. And they call us and go and see my mom. And we go and see them. And then we call them back. We explain to them, them what, hap what happened, what the results are, what the expectations are. The same thing that you expect a doctor trained abroad yeah. to, ex to give back, right? Doc, I mean, you've been doing this for a year now. I want to know, are you the only person doing it? Or when you go to Ghana, you recruited other Ghanaian doctors to join the movement? Or, I don't know, are you doing this alone? Or you have other doctors that do this with you? You know, um, you'd be surprised. When I came first, I wasn't sure whether I would get doctors to do this with me. Okay. But when I advertised with the position, I have so many applicants. Hmm. So I selected 17 doctors. So right now we have 17 doctors who are waiting 
to be called any time to join a group. So we have people who have already on on on, the, um, uh, on a, in a group mm. who are willing to 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 take on the mantle, mantle. and we we'll call them. Yes. Wow. Total communication solution everywhere. Hello. I think that is. This is Doctor Hour for Mobile Doctors. Yeah. We are here to see you. Okay. We are the gate. Oh, Maya. Uh huh. We finally here. Uh huh. This is not the hospital. Okay. This is somebody's house. Whoa. And my yes, and my patient is waiting for me. No, that's not fun. That's right. No. Okay, let's go. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. I'm the goddess. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm fine. I brought some business test. Yeah. <laughs> this is Wodimaya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, okay, let's go. All right, thank you for receiving us here. <laughs> okay. Take off your back and get this thing. Oh, hey, ladies. How are you? Yeah, you don't mind um, um, my the crew recording you? How's it going? It's wonderful. Okay, how's the pain in the back? No, it's better. It's better? Yesterday, I was not able to sleep well. Oh. Because of the taking in the epidural. Epidural, the back. In the middle of the night, I could there is something. Or oh, the spasms. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. On my nerves, on my thigh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yes. How long have you been taking care of? Oh, I've been taking care of how long? Maybe. Five months or so? Four months. Four months. Um, Auntie Gladys, I wanted to know how does it feel like having a doctor coming all the way from his house to visit you in here without you going to the hospital? Oh, I feel relaxed. Feel relaxed. Very relaxed. And that tattoo is very helpful. Anytime you call, you answer your telephone calls and also. Have to see you, have time for you to discuss very detailed oh. about your health, and it's, it's just helpful. Because mm -hmm. um, it, it's my first time hearing something like mobile doctors, so um, I wanted to find out what it is. All of us are hearing it for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not common in that. It's not common. The first time. And I hope he's doing well. My yeah. first place. I think yeah. he's doing well. Will you, will you recommend him to so many people out oh, there? Oh, I tried because before I, I commend him for about three, four people. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Four or five people. But I had to do the surgery, so I was ten my mm. my time hospital. Mm. And also he's being helpful to take. Also, I have a doctor mm. who is taking care of me. Okay. But he also comes in to help me also. But even now, I'm starting to see the next problem that I have is okay. able to be here three times mm. and so much concern so. about my health. Yes, mm -hmm. so much concern. It calls me to check on me and everything. So I'm just happy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very, very happy. Thank you so much for talking to me. And also I'll try to grow my as I'm get my healing back. Mm -hmm. I would remind you to so many, so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Yes, that is. Very smart. Thank you. Even within the estate, I have one or two or three people oh, no. that I would like him to take care of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. You see why I told you you brought something incredible to Ghana? Because yeah. I've never heard of mobile doctors. That's why I was trying as much as possible to yeah, meet you. Very, he's very good. Mm -hmm. And he's on time. If you call him, he's on time. <laughs> 
no more Ghana time, man. Eh? Uh, no, no, I don't do Ghana time, man. Eh? Time is money. <laughs> but maybe it's coming from outside. Yeah, there's always time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. That also is that important. Eh? Wow. Yeah. Doc, how, how does it, are you going to work right now? No, carry on. I will be taking my stuff out while you're talking to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to know, yeah, um, you been able to fill that gap in Ghana, as in like the first mobile doctor in Ghana, how does it make you feel like? Um, no. Born and raised there, there was nothing like this, and then you came in to fill the gap. Yeah, I feel good. I want to make a difference. You know, I want people to feel me. You know, I want to, them to have something that is never, never exists in Ghana. So I feel good that the patients are happy. You know, and that's my aim. The, the patients are happy, I'm happy. But patient first. Patient and what kind of services do you offer? So we do, um, first of all, we do um, house call um, practice, um, visits. Uh, we also do laboratory services. So the lab will come to the house and um, draw the blood. We do pharmacy services for medication deliveries uh, at home. Um, we do prenatal care, antenatal care. We do physiotherapy services, we do hospice services, we do dietitian mm. and services in home massage, and we do all that. Doc, some of the patients really need uh, medical attention in terms of you after coming to treat them. I think you leave. Yes. Yeah, but don't you think you need to let somebody stay behind? Because since it's, um, how do you call it, it's like a hospital in your home. Yes. Do I need to have a nurse or something? Yeah, it will, when we get to that point, we know, because when you are sick, and you need to, you think you need to go to the hospital, I will bring a nurse to your house to actually take care of you. So we have what we call home admissions. Mm. And for home admissions are patients who are critically ill. And instead of them going to join a queue and go and you know, be part of the general population, we said, no, stay at home. We bring the IV fluids to the house. If we, do, we can even do blood transfusion in the house. Well, yes, and I would do the uh, IV antibiotics. So the nurse will come and stay with you 24 hours a day, yes. And then um, bring the oxygen tank. So we do anything that we can do in the hospital, admission, we can do it here. Except when you are so ill that you need to have machines like ventilators to breathe for you, then we refer you to a big hospital that would take, that would take care of those services. Most of us have been complaining about the healthcare system in Ghana. Um, if you should change one thing, about a healthcare system in Ghana, what would that be? Oh my God, I would think that customer service is vital. Mind you, there are good doctors in Ghana, but the way they deliver the healthcare service may be a bit deficient. You want a doctor who will listen to you, right? You want a doctor who, when you call that doctor, will be the call, right? You want a doctor to explain to you what's wrong with you to go over the medication with you line by line, to speak to your family member you know, about your condition with, with your permission. So you want that kind of medical service. It does exist in Ghana, I tell you, because I've been in Ghana, I've had the same bad experience with this you know, uh, delivery in Ghana. So that's what I would change. I would have to train those doctors, who are good doctors, to have some kind of customer service in Ghana, and uh, that's what I can change in Ghana. I'm really impressed. Yeah, thank you. I just want to tell each and everyone watching us right now that it's time to support Mobile Doctors Ghana. It's the first ever in Ghana, and I just hope that with the work that you're doing in Ghana, we can replicate this in other African countries so that more people can even learn from what you've achieved in Ghana. Yes. And um, how for, uh, for it to become successful, I think more people need to patronize the service. Yes. That's what we need. And I'm telling you, each and every one of you, that it's by force. You know, when I endorse something, I endorse it well. Because this is first ever, and then we need to let him have a successful start. Doc, I'm going to put your numbers on your email on the screen. All right. A lot of people are going to call you. But when they call you, let me know that they called you. I will certainly let you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, that was quick, Doc. Yes, usually about... Um, 15 to half minutes or an hour. Get done. It, take, it depends on the complexity of the condition. Yeah, but she's um, she's a good patient and oh. um, she has a lot of issues and I was trying to to help her go through it. So.
Doc. She's a good patient. She listens to my instructions and I'm happy. Doc, you were living in the diaspora and you decided to come in here to make a difference, yeah? Yes. Um, we have so many Ghanaians and also Nigerian doctors, especially African doctors in the diaspora. If you have a message for them, what would that message be? I would say, man, the Africans need you, Ghanaians need you. We, as physicians that we live abroad, we always have expectations um, in our various countries, but we don't expect anybody else to um, make that change unless we come ourselves, you know, to help make a change. So I would encourage people to come to Ghana or wherever they come from to try and make a small change. A small change that will go a long way because people, people here, they don't know what is expected of them. So when they bring all the ideas, people will follow it. They bring all the ideas, people will follow it. Yeah. Make sure you follow Doc, make sure you check out Doc, make sure you contact the numbers on your screen, call him, and uh, he will definitely be in front of your door. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking.